Welcome back to another Papageo tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom mouse shapes and import them into Papageo. Uh, so these are the mouse shapes that are used by Papageo. And you can do a search, like an image search for these. I'm just going to left click and drag this image into Inkscape and use it as a reference point. It's a really good idea to have a reference, especially if you're just starting out like me and just sort of getting started with drawing mouse shapes. It'll help a lot. You can do an image search, and uh, I recommend doing that to get the exact perspective you want if you're doing a side view or a front view, and also the style of lips and mouth and teeth that you want. There's all kinds of good resources out there you can just use, um, not to direct, not use the actual images, but to get an idea for the shapes of each different sound. So I'm gonna go over the different sounds real quick that Papageo uses. Um, this first one is the A and the I sound, so it's gonna be like A and I, this next one's the E sound, or uh, I mean, eh. I'm sorry, I'm saying these wrong. This ETC is going to be almost every other sound. Uh, the FV is going to be your F and V sounds. So a lot of these are basically what they sound like. We have the uh, the L, so the tongue kind of goes and touches the top of the mouth for that L, L sound. M, B, and P, if you think about it, your mouth makes the same shape when it's doing those sounds. The O sound creates this sort of shape. Um, there's a rest uh, mouth shape, which is just the mouth not doing anything. There's a U, which is similar to the O, but a little bit maybe tighter and smaller mouth. And then W and Q, also even smaller than the U and the O. So I'm going to speed up the video now and just show you what I did. I created a, a, the letters just using text to map out each one of these so that I can put the letter below the animation of the mouth that I'm drawing. And then I can move the reference out of the way, and I just used a line of the distribute um, to sort of make these yeah, evenly spaced between each of them. And then I took my character, and I just duplicated the character so that there was a character face above every different letter. And I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. The first way, I'm going to export the entire face uh, for the animation, and I'll move the eyebrows and some of the, the other features of the face as well along with the, the mouth. And then I'll also show you how to just export the mouth by itself without the entire face. And I'm not going to go through the whole process of drawing uh, these because it can be done a lot of different ways. And if you're familiar with using Inkscape, um, you can probably accomplish the actual shaping of the mouths. But I'll just show you very quickly sort of some of the different ways I did it, uh, modifying these shapes. If you're not familiar with Inkscape, it's an open source vector art program. And rather than drawing by hand, you sort of draw different shapes and vector paths and then modify that shape or that custom path. So it's a little bit different way of creating artwork if you're not familiar with working in vector. You have these nodes and these points that you adjust uh, to create. But it really has a lot of advantages, especially when it comes to uh, animation and creating digital artwork. Once all the mouse shapes were completed, I got rid of that gray background and I went in and did some subtle changes. Uh, I probably went a little bit too much overboard in retrospect on this, but I moved the eyebrows a little bit and I adjusted some of the different creases in the face and some of the different um, positioning of the mouse so that it would uh, didn't appear that the, the mouth was the only thing moving in the animation. The next thing I needed to do was go to File, Export PNG Image, and I would just left click and select the entire image, make sure my export area was set to Selection. And then I made sure to name this file the same thing, the same name uh, as the files in Papageo. That's very important. So this one's called AI.png. Um, you can use .jpg or .png. Uh, Papageo can interpret both, but Inkscape can only export in .png. So if, if you're using a different program, you could export in JPG, I suppose. But I'm going to export in .png, uh, which is just a, a common image format that supports a transparent background. And it's just very important that you name the file the same thing, and it is case sensitive. So this etc, you want to do it lowercase etc.png. So, and then the fv again, capital F, capital V. So you want to just name it the same way. When those are all done, um, I did the rest off camera. I just pasted them in here in a, their own folder called tj mouth shapes. And uh, we can take a look at and see what these look like just in our image viewer very quickly. Uh, we can just toggle through, just scrolling through each one and kind of see what this talking face animation will look like. And if you want to just do the mouth like it's showing here without the entire face, I'll show you real quick how to do that in Inkscape. Basically, we just delete everything but the mouth. It's fairly simple. So we select everything that's not the mouth 
uh, and delete it. We can keep some of the, the like the chin crease and some of the different creases if we want to, but I'm just going to delete everything else. And then we would do the exact same thing we did. Um, we export. We still call it uh, you know, capital F, capital V dot PNG, but we have just the mouth instead of the entire face. I'm not going to export these, but that's the process for exporting just the mouth alone without the entire face. Now let's hop over to Windows. I have a WAV file, and I brought these mouth shapes over, and we're going to open Papageo NG. It's very important you have the NG version because you're not going to have some of these options or the uh, folder structure may be different. I'm going to open up the WAV file. Hello, everybody. I'm using custom mouth shapes for this animation. So we have this WAV file here. We just need to type in uh, what the words of the WAV file are saying. This is similar things that we've done in the past. And then we click breakdown, and it just places those words above the audio file. Hello, everybody. I'm using custom mouth shapes for this. And I'm not going to go through and um, adjust these because this is just an example of showing you bringing in the artwork. But notice we only have these seven different ones that we can choose from. Hello, and I'm going to show you where those are in the uh, in the file structure. So we need to open up uh, an Explorer window, go into C, Program Files, x86, and then Papageo NG, and then Papageo NG again, and then this RSRC, and then this Mouths folder. And then these are where they are. You'll notice these match the same mouse that we have in the program. So any directory we create, a folder that we create in here will appear. So all we have to do is left click and drag our folder in. Um, click continue. And now this will be available. But first we need to close and then reopen uh, Papageo. So I'm going to save my uh, file real quick. We'll close this. And then when I reopen, I'll have that uh, those TJ mouse shapes available. And notice here it's much larger the preview image is but it's okay when we export it it'll still be the full version hello everybody uh i'm not I'm quite sure testing. that'd be nice if we could remedy that so you can actually see it while you're going um, i guess you could resize it down and then use a different uh, thing so when we go to export we just need to change this to images um, so and then we just go export and it'll export the current images that we're on uh, and so i'll just export these on the desktop not the best practice because it'll flood our desktop with a bunch of images but now we have all these images and we can put them into an animation program and just animate frame by frame or we could use something like FFmpeg to animate these. So hopefully that's been informative for you. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any and I look forward to catching you in the next video.